I'm going to show you the new animation and Glaxinimate features in Shotcut. Uh, let's get things started by putting a video on the timeline. Let's come out here and let's add something. Uh, let's open movie. And uh, we'll just need to use a few seconds of it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's good. And let's add another video track so we can put the animation on top. Okay, next we need an animation. You can go out to Lottie Files and get some free animations. Okay, let's say pick one that you like. Let's say you like this one. And check the license on it to make sure it's uh, free for you to use. Sometimes you need to give a credit. And you can download it in JSON format. So, yeah, it supports JSON and RAR JSON files. So I already have one downloaded. Let's go to get it. And go to documents, animations. And it's kind of like this thinking guy emoji. And lay that down on the timeline. And now we most of these animations are going to have a transparent background. So that's nice. Um, and so you can see, yeah, the video underneath. And it's overlaying, you know, quite nicely. And we can work with it just like it's a normal video. For instance, maybe I don't want it to be that quite that long. I can trim it out like this. And we can fade it in. If you double click the throbber here, you can uh, make it one second long. and Or you can drag it to whatever you want, like longer and let's preview that okay looking good maybe a bit long okay we could also apply shortcut filters on top of it so for instance let's go to size position and rotate and let's move this guy up into the corner, just like that. And now, it fades in. So we can already do a little bit of um, work with the animation right here in Shotcut. Without having to open up the Glaxomate editor, that is. And we can export this now. And take a look at this work. You see it renders and exports. Great. Now, how do I make our own animation using Glaxnamate? To do that, you can use File, Open Other, or this toolbar icon, and choose Animation. And you can choose a background color, but I recommend Transparent. And you can, here's your starting duration for the uh, animation. That's good. And click OK. We have to give it a name. And uh, let's give it the name animation.rar. Sounds good. And Glaxtimate opens. Okay, at this point, uh, there's not much to see. We can uh, put circle on the screen. And then it shows up, the change automatically shows up here in Shotcut Preview. Uh, this animation's canvas will be set to the same resolution and aspect ratio as the Shotcut project. And then um, it also carries over the frame rate. So this is a 24 FPS project. If we look here, you can see that. That matches. Very good. Now, we lost the preview because I unselected the uh the video that we were working on here it is the animation uh let's bring this back down into the timeline now
Okay. And now if we click, click edit, then we relinked it. Now we can see the preview of the from the shortcut timeline in uh, Galaxnomate. And we can proceed to edit, uh, make this animation. Let's go to frame zero. Move this to here. Turn on keyframes recording. Go to here. Move it down here. Okay. And here's what it looks like. Save it. Come back over here. And we get the same thing. All right, looking good. Again, when we um, unselect this clip now, it's going to remove the preview from the Glaxomate. You have to have the uh, clip selected the whole time that you want the preview. You can still work with the animation, of course, without the preview, but if you want the preview, you have to come back, select the click, clip, and click edit. Okay, now another point I wanna make is, let's add another video track. And put something on a, a track or la layer higher. Just some text, okay. And put that here. And now we have this text on top of our bouncing ball animation. If we come back here and edit, the preview is only showing what's on the timeline below the track with the animation on it. So you don't have this text that's on another higher layer obstructing your work here. Um, it can't really show uh, additional shortcut layers on top of the Galaxnomate preview. And what's nice about uh, being able to, um, if you have multiple monitors or, or a very large monitor, you can leave Galaxnomate open and you can just uh, switch between editing different animations like so. Otherwise, uh, if your windows are occupying most of the screen or running maximized, I do recommend that you close Glaxnomate. Otherwise, if you put it in the background and you click edit, it's not going to automatically bring it on top unless it's cl closed and reopens. Okay. But let me show you something different. Rotoscoping. Let's go make a new project. And for this, I'm going to use a project folder. Okay, again, we need to get a video on the timeline. Let's go with this now. And 12 seconds, okay, that's good. And let's add another video track. And another video. Again, just grab a few seconds of this. Okay. Next thing we'll show you is the new mask filter for rotoscoping. You can open an existing animation, but more often than not, you'll choose new. And since this was a uh, project folder, it automatically created the animation file for us and gave it a name and opened it in Glaxtimate. And now you can see the preview. Now look at the shortcut preview. The upper video track is not there because we have to make something expose something. So if we draw a rectangle here and save it, 
now we can see our video on top has been confined to this area. Um, if you want to have like a punch out effect instead, you can add an alpha channel adjust and click invert. And now the video on top has a hole punched out designed by this animation uh, showing the video that's underneath. So again, click edit here to see what's on the timeline. Okay. So that's one usage of um, the mask rotoscope. You can also use it just to mask other filters. So for that, let's use a mosaic filter. And that creates a pixelization effect. And we'll do a mask apply. And now the animation shapes are defining the scope and region for the filters that are in between the mask rotoscope and mask apply.